All right, I'd like to call this June 6, 2013, Cookville City Council meeting to order. Could we have a roll call, please? <clears throat> Councilman Anderson. Present. Councilman Woodford. Present. Mayor Swallows. Here. Vice Mayor Evans. Here. Councilman Albright. Here. All present. Thank you. Would everyone please stand for a moment of silence, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. <clears throat> Thank you. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. All right. Consider approval of agenda as presented. Do we have any additions and subtractions from the agenda? No changes. All right. Do I have a motion for approval? So moved. Second. All vote. Five yes votes. Motion carried. All right. Consider approval of minutes of the council meeting held on May 16th, 2013. Have a motion for approval of the minutes. So moved. Second. All, right. All vote. Five yes votes. Motion carries. All right. Item three. Hold a public hearing and consider on second and final reading ordinance 130509. Amending the budgets of the various funds and departments of the city of Cookville for the fiscal year ended June 30th, 2013. Sponsors, Mr. Mike Davidson. Mayor and council members, there's been no changes to the budget amendment since first reading. Uh, I'm not going to go through them in, again in detail unless you just want me to, but I would recommend approval. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Davidson. Do I have a motion for approval? So moved. Second. Any questions, comments from the council? Seeing none, all vote. Five yes votes, motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Davidson. On to new business. Item four, consider appointment of the city attorney for a two-year term. Sponsor is Mr. Jim Shipley. Uh, I'd like to recommend the appointment of Daniel H. Rader III as city attorney for another two-year term and authorize Mr. Rader to enlist the assistance of other attorneys in his law firm of Moore, Rader, Cliff, and Fitzpatrick to serve as assistant city attorneys on an as-needed basis. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion, please. I make a motion to appoint Daniel H. Rader, the third city attorney for a two-year term, effective July the 1st, 2013, and to authorize Mr. Rader to enlist the assistance of other attorneys in his law firm, in his law firm, Moore, Rader, Clifton, Fitzpatrick, to serve as assistant city attorneys on an as-needed basis with the approval of the city manager. Second. Second. Motion and a second. Uh, any discussion, questions, comments? Glad he's getting to do it. I was going to say we're always grateful when people step up to serve their city. And I say I'm glad you're sitting up here with us. <laughs> <laughs> not, out, not out there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anything else? All right. All vote. Obvious votes. Motion carries. All right, item five, consider appointment of city judge for a two-year term. Sponsors, Mr. Jim Shipley. Mayor Council, Mr. David Ledbetter has agreed to serve another two-year term. Okay. I'd recommend his approval. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion to appoint David Ledbetter city judge and Joy Gothard to substitute city judge to serve to, due to illness, rec recusal, or absence of the city judge for two-year term effective July the 1st, 2013. Thank you. You'd have a second. Second. Any questions, comments? All right. Seeing none, all vote. Five yes votes. Motion carries. All right. Item six. Consider approval of audit contract for the years ending 2013, 2014, and 2015. Sponsors, Mr. Mike Davidson. Mayor, council members, uh, Duncan Wheeler Wilkerson has performed the city's audit for a number of years now. They've agreed to perform it again for fiscal years 2013, 14, and 15. Uh, should the council approve the contract, it would be a fee of $39,000 for the uh, fiscal year 2013 audit 
and for the 2014 and 15 year audit it would be a forty thousand dollar fee for those years but i would recommend approval of duncan wheeler wilkerson to continue to do the audit for us thank you mr davidson to have a motion for approval so moved second questions comments for council what i do have a comment mr mayor yeah I've just just in short order just to make the statement uh, uh seeing lots of budgets and things go by and in, in, in county commission and now as a on as a city council member um a, a fiscally responsible um, administration and audit service is uh, very important and uh, one of the reasons why this group had the this firm has been with us for a long very long time is because of that um, it's because of the, the the team that our administration and this auditing firm does uh, and I appreciate that as a council member not having to deal with some of the problems that come come up when those sort of things don't happen so I will heartedly give a yes vote for that I'll also like to say I think everybody in Cookville and the Upper Cumberland has seen lately how if if the auditing is not good and sound what absolutely. problems that causes so we're glad that we have these guys on board <coughs> absolutely absolutely anything else all vote five yes votes motion carries thank you All right, item seven, consider <clears throat> authorizing city manager to execute a sewer line cost share agreement. Sponsor is Mr. Ronnie Kelly. Mayor and Council, uh, Mr. Rodney Jones, who's here tonight in the audience, is he's developing a lot on South Elm Street and has requested that our department enter into a sewer line cost share agreement. You, have, you should have a copy of that proposed agreement in your packet. Cost share agreements are allowed per ordinance section number 18-208, which is also should be uh, in your packet. Uh, the main points of their agreement are as follows. Uh, the developer is responsible for all property acquisition, construction, and maintenance until this accepted by the city. The city is responsible for design, state approval, and tree removal. The city will pay the developer $4,573 based on bid quantities and price schedule, which is attached to the contract. And that's also in your packet. City to pay 90% upon completion of the project and the final 10% upon notarized lien of waiver submittal. The developer is to warrant the facilities for one year. And there's some all other legalese language in there that Mr. Rader has okayed and looked at and is okay with that language. Uh, we're going to gain access to uh, city sewer for two lots, and there'll be access to uh, three lots gained with the water service. Uh, the total cost for the project is eight is projected to be eight thousand three hundred eighty five dollars our share is going to be four thousand five hundred seventy three dollars which includes some water line uh, installation that we're requesting to be done also so the parcel serves to cost per parcel to serve the sewer it's about twenty two hundred dollars a parcel some of our comparisons with other projects that we've done and bid out as a city department you can see come in to eight thousand ten thousand four thousand dollars a lot to serve parcels across town yeah. so we feel like this is a a good uh proposal for the city our ratepayers. uh the let me see if i can get it the development is in uh elm street if you know where elm street capshaw school is right in this area uh, capshaw woods is here and this is the lot of development uh, the homeowner is responsible for this green park to get it up to their property. We're going to pay for a tap to this lot here, and then we're going to pay for this part to get it up to the lot beyond that, uh, just to keep from having to tear up concrete driveways and everything later. That's the sewer line portion. Under city code, uh, the city would have to run the first 100 foot of water line, and then the developer, contractor, whoever has to run the remaining portion. So our, sh our share is this share that we're going to pay for. He's getting a contractor, and it's got great prices. So we've asked to include our portion of that installation in the contract. And then we're also going to get it across their property to have without having to go back and tear up concrete and so forth again and get it to this one lot there. And that should take care of, care of it. And uh, I think that was – that's about it. Uh, based on this information, the cost of our ratepayers per lot served, I'd recommend your approval. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. I have a motion for approval. So moved. Second. 
questions, comments from the council? No. I definitely think this is a good, a good um, project and a good way for the city to join in with our citizens to help everybody. It's win-win. <coughs> I agree with that. All right, anything else? Anything else? All vote? Obvious votes, motion carries. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. I may consider approval of emergency repair to Tower 1. Sponsors from the Fire Department, Chief Roger Fuquay. Mayor Council, I'm seeking approval for emergency repairs to Tower 1. That's our big ladder truck with the, with the bucket on it. It's a 100-foot ladder uh, for a cost of $15,561.22. The hydraulics basically went out on it and we had to replace the hydraulic manifold and the, the bucket indicator and controls units and while they had it the air compressor for the air conditioner went out it locked up so but I, I recommend approval thank you chief to a motion for approval so moved second any questions comments uh, chief Fuka, this is an expensive repair but just to put it in perspective if the city had to purchase a new ladder truck what would that cost it's right it's right out of million dollars okay. <laughs> yeah, that's small investment there <laughs> thank you thank you yeah. and, <laughs> and we're limited to companies that can bid on that truck because of the low profile right for the small door that we have to put it in yeah. <laughs> any other questions comments Bob, yes, folks. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. All right. Item 9, consider awarding bid for a weapon site. Sponsors, Police Department, Chief Bob Terry. Mayor and Council, we recently advertised and solicited bids for rifle sites and low bidder meeting specifications that we're recommending as Class 3 enterprises, and we recommend your approval. Thank you, Chief. Do you have a motion for approval? So moved. Second. Questions, comments from the council? No. Will this um will these sites be put on all they'll be put on all the patrol rifles. I might also add that it, that that's being funded from the sale of uh, firearms that we have from the vault. So all but uh, hundred and sixty dollars I believe. Or hundred and fifty dollars is all that's coming out of existing revenues. That's pretty good. Yeah, thank you. Nice. Anything else? All right. Seeing none, all vote. Five yes votes, motion carries. Thank you. Chief, it seems like you always have money that comes to you. It makes it easy to <laughs> easy to approve things when you get up there. We're our own cottage industry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, all right, this is a portion of the meeting that we like to open the floor. Uh, welcome our citizens and our delegations. Anybody would like to come forward to speak? And, Good, bad, and different. We open the floor. We just ask you to keep it to three minutes if you can. If they don't, I have some things I'd like to say. So if anybody would like to come forward. And if not, I think we've got a few, yeah. few announcements I've got up a, here. Yeah, I want to recognize uh, George Halford and the Ra Rally Steering Committee at the Chamber of Commerce for successfully bringing back the uh, Harley Owners Group, better known as the Hogs. That has generated two and a half to three million dollars to Coopville and Putnam County alone. Also, I'd like to recognize Lane Ward and the faculty at the Coopville High School for being named a silver, silver, silver. I'll get it out in a minute. Sil, silver medal school by the U.S. News and World Report. The award ranks Coopville High School among the top ten percent of more than twenty-one thousand public schools in the United States. That's a great honor for our community. And since I'm talking about education, I'd like to give an early congratulations to the graduating class of 2013 of the adult high school and GED recipients. That's tomorrow night at 7 o'clock at Avery Trace Middle School. I think that takes a lot of courage for some people to come back to continue their education because it's about economic development and their well-being. So congratulations to them. And uh, coming up on June 22nd is Wine on the West Side up here 
um, and that'll be a, a fundraiser for the Bryan Symphony Orchestra, and that's always a fun time. It'll be from 5 to 10 on the west side. And talking about the uh, adult high school graduation, mm -hmm. before I taught in the public school system, I taught uh, GED classes, and people don't realize how difficult it is to go back and pick up those things that most of us got in junior high and middle school and high school. So that is very commendable. Mm -hmm. um, also spoke to a gentleman that represents uh, Disabled American Veterans Group uh, here in Cookville, uh, and he informed me of, uh, of what they offer. I, I can't, I won't do it justice to tell you everything that they do. Um, but their website, cookfuldav.com, explains a lot of what they do, and they help a lot of veterans, not just disabled, but disabled veterans and veterans um, with their benefits, uh, their spouses with their benefits, those type of things, a lot of the legality, which is, I guess, red tape that a lot of, a lot of them have to jump through. So I uh, wanted to make that, make that aware, uh, get that word out, that if, uh, if there's anybody out there that does need help or assistance, uh, considering this is D-Day, right? Yes. Why? Yes, it is. So, took me uh, right out of the classroom. <laughs> um, so I wanted to to mention that cookfuldav.com. Um, if anybody would like to go to that and check check out all their their benefits and everything that they offer. Um, also, this is starting the last the second and last weekend of the great TV auction. It starts tonight, I believe, and just six o'clock or seven o'clock. <laughs> Larry has Seven to be there at 615. Yeah. <laughs> and our very own vice mayor will be one of the hosts tonight. Yeah. Uh, and I believe Melinda will be involved tonight as well. So mm -hmm. please turn on your TVs. Call, bid high, and bid often. Right. That's right. Anything else? <laughs> Good deal. Anything else? All right. This meeting's adjourned. <laughs>